Um, wow. Yeah, no, no, don't check that. Don't, can I, can I, can I? What is it? What? What is it? It's your baby. What? All right, sisters fans, you know, aside from the obvious daydream that Karen was having in regards to the shooting of Fatima, a lot of fans have been speculating as well that the email was somewhat of a daydream as well, like the whole sequence with Andy getting the phone call and then, you know, um, Fatima accessing her email inbox or Andy's email inbox through her phone and then apparently the email stating that Zach is the father. I mean, I get it, but in my personal opinion, I feel like that was quote unquote reality. Now, look, look, I'm not saying that the email was legit. Zach is the daddy. I mean, how did they even have the DNA? I'm saying that that particular scene, in my opinion, I feel like that was reality. But the whole sequence with the gun shooting for Tima, I feel like that was the daydream. Because you look at the antics that Karen has, you know, pulled so far in the series, sending an email like that is not out of the realm of possibility, especially with her trick of handing Zach the folder that was a blank sheet of paper. Her sending the email or the email being fake doesn't sound unrealistic to me at all because this is right up Karen's alley. So I like the idea. And it makes sense. I can see why people would, um, you know, suspect it to be fake. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the whole sequence with the email is legit. It did happen. And, you know, they're just going to have to deal with it. That's just my personal opinion. I know in season seven, Karen's going to go to the doctor for a DNA test again um, to make show. You know, she knows who the daddy is, but yeah, I'm thinking the email thing was just another piece of bull crap that she decided to sling at Zatima. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next one.